Welcome back. This time, I probably won't fish for an hour and a half. Anyhow, what was I doing? <laughs> we just entered the forest. Hello, Mari. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You were all so brave for going through this forest. That's a particularly interesting way to phrase it. Why are you saying it like, I guess you are dead, so it doesn't... Like, you're technically not going through the forest, right? There's even an old minecart running through here. She's also pro like, she also seems a bit older, similar to Hero. So, I do wonder if she's like talking down to us as if they're little kids and I'm looking too much into this small bit of text. But I don't think so. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it was used for. I mean, probably the transport ore. <laughs> that was kind of the whole point of minecarts. Uh, okay. Let me have a little picnic. Do you want to have a picnic with you? Hey, wait a second. There is... Something in the water. Oh my god, that's a body, isn't it? Yeah, you can see- wait. I can't even look at it. Ooh. Oh, that's totally gonna be something later. Like, you can see the faint outline of kind of a head and a torso? Or like a head and some legs kind of stuck on one of the pillars of the pier. Huh. Or, <laughs> it could just be like a shoe or something. Is this the same? A floating mirror. Oh. I never noticed this, but... Oh, we can see the backgrounds in this location. Your friends smile warmly behind I wonder if that ever changes. <laughs> I mean, probably does. What's up with this plant thing? Ah, before I forget, I want to... Well... Let me heal up a single block of tofu. Would you like to eat some? I have many blocks of tofu. I don't... You and your friends feel like new. Huh. I don't think that's what tofu does, right? I collected quite a bit of it, so... No. Soft cardboard, basically. Heals five... I like tofu. I mean, if it's like fry them with some soy sauce, but like... Yeah, plain tofu is awful. Uh, do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yes. How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? Huh. <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. I bet you once we get to the real world, your hero's gonna be completely fine with spiders. He's coming from home, home from college, isn't he? Huh. Huff. Breathe in. Breathe out. Is he coming back from a semester? Amori used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Yeah, up until very recently, huh? Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's been. Is it brave or apathetic? Wow. So brave. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Yeah, so brave. You don't seem like you're being sarcastic, Aubrey. Huh. I want to get back to Aubrey in the real world and see what's up with her. She seems to be having a rough time. I mean, everyone, I guess, except for Kel. Well, I have a feeling Kel's probably hiding something. Uh, you got cat ears. Ooh, what? One second. What? What is this? Is this a toy or is this a gear? That's probably gear. Uh, equip? Seer goggles, cat ears. Gives you cat-like reflexes. 1 defense, 10 speed. I don't know if speed's super valuable. Most of the combat I do is like super long and drawn out. Does anyone have low speed? I think someone does, right? I mean, it would- yeah, you have 11, that's not particularly fast. And then, you have 22, you're quite fast. How about you, hero? Maybe I should give it to hero, because if he heals first before the enemy, that means we survive. I think. I'm not exactly certain. Uh... <laughs> my train of thought was just completely... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kel... Seems to be... Like, perhaps hiding something? He said now's not a good time to go home. Though I think it could just be, you know... His parents are prepping for something. The railroad track is missing a segment. I assume we have to find that. These kinda seem like little outskirts. I see like a... Slight indent, but no. That's a giant bear. Uh, blinking flower. Can I can't look at these flowers, can I? No, I can't. 
uh, creepy pot. Oh yeah, and also last time we got absolutely threshed by just a regular rabbit. I do wonder if that's going to be a problem for now on. Uh, please leave me alone. I do not want to fight. I have a feeling I need to train up. Oh, I thought you... Oh my god. Wow, you're terrified. I thought you were going to just be like a friendly NPC. You look so kind. Um. Alright, let's just attack. Rare bear. Oh. Is it like actually rare? Or is, is it like an ironic name? I have a feeling it's gonna be tough. He looks tough. Let me, like, properly buff up at the start of this fight. Um, Aubrey, you can pep talk, I guess. Oh, God. See, I know these interactions now, like the battle interactions. They can inflict emotion, but I need to learn what they all do. Because I want to make Aubrey angry for the headbutt. I want Amori to be sad, as cruel as it is for the stab. Hell, you don't have anything, I guess you can be happy, and then Hero probably happy too? Maybe sad, because then you'd be more defensive. But then you wouldn't have juice to heal people with. Uh, yeah. You can just attack. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, no, just attack, go ahead. <laughs> I think, um... I think we run. <laughs> How much health does he have? I am I have confirmed my suspicions of me being rather weak. Oh my god, okay. Uh I feel like I've have I missed like an area I'm supposed to go to? What's happened? Uh Okay, you know what? Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yes. Uh... Wait, no, I didn't want to have a picnic. I wanted to heal. <laughs> Hell, please, eat. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let me actually do myself a favor and, like, look at my... You and your friends feel like new. Unclosed quest lines. Hi, I'm Ori Cliffface as usual. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, did you need me to help with anything? All it costs is your love. Okay, Basil, Hector, front row tickets. It seems that you stumbled upon show tickets to a promising new theatric. If you have time, you should stop by and watch. Where was that? That was here, I think. Or no, that was for... Sweetheart. Most of the jokes I've seen around are pretty bad. But there's gotta be a joke that's less bad than others. I do know where that is. That's in, like, the... I was gonna say corn maze, but more like a space plant leaf maze. Demi is bored of his books. Yep, we haven't seen that. A good listener. Candle lost their teddy bear and can't find him anywhere. We'll listen to her trouble now. Basil's probably like my overarching theme. Hector fell out of his pocket. I'm pretty certain we can probably find that, like, because I recall where he threw him. So he's probably along there. Um, let me look around this area. Let me not- Okay, you know what? Let me try fighting you. How bad is my situation here? Because if I'm super weak, I might just repeatedly kill an enemy over and over and see if I can, like, level up the group. Uh, I, otherwise, I think I just miss, like, an area because this seems like a big jump up in health. Uh, yeah, just go all in. Oh, I missed. Yeah, that's, that's buff. Um... Attack again? How much health does that have? <laughs> Please. Just die. <laughs> oh, and you, I, I missed... Yes, okay. Oh, God. I think it's doable. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if I can kill this thing in one shot, I might just fat. Why did that take only seven? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I might just fast forward me grinding a bunch of mobs, but we'll see. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh, you that you just self-destructed. Oh my god. Okay, I thought you just had a massive area. Thank you, Amori. Uh, Amori parties, Amori's party was victorious. You gained 40, 476 XP. You found the tomato. Amori grew to level 10 and learned hack away. Level 10, curveball. Yeah, I'm definitely underleveled. <laughs> this
Didn't I just level up in a different area? Hmm. Okay. Um, you got fries. Let me heal up. Also, a lost sprout. I haven't seen that one in quite a while. Let me heal up and try to avoid the single... <laughs> yes, I'm gonna eat the tofu repeatedly. Bop. Okay. Now. <laughs> um... I want to explore this area, but I'm also really tempted to go back to find Hector's rock- or to find Kel's rock Hector. Because I feel like I've just kind of left that as a loose thread. <laughs> and I know I've just went back to explore a previous area. But I'm feeling pretty weak, so I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to kind of just, you know, train up a bit on my way there. Bug Bunny dead. Or a 4, 32, level 10, twirl, level 10, learn smile. Oh yeah, and you know what? Let me actually take a look at my newly gained skill, because I feel like I haven't actually, you know, exchanged them in quite a while. In fact, I don't think I ever. Axe first, reducing damage taken for one turn. I don't know if observe is worth it. <laughs> Like, it's fundamentally good, but you lose out in like three-fourths of your DPS. Well, not even, like, even potentially more, like, heroes healing. So, let's see. Attack three times, hitting random foes. Ooh. If the foes ain't... Oh. Okay, yeah, these are way better. Um, yeah, let's do mock, and then what were the other skills? Maybe I should have been taking a look at this more. Guard? Twirl. Attacks a foe and becomes happy. Nice, that's cool. And how about you, Kel? Let's see, guard. Run and gun. Kel does an attack based on the speed instead of his attack. You're becoming cat boy, Kel. <laughs> Makes a foe f feel a random emotion. Deals extra damage to foes with emotion. Oh, and that's particularly good with, um... I don't know, da, 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 Aubrey's new skill, right? The angry one. Okay, well, let's turn you into a cat boy first. And then hero. What can you do? Guard. You can smile. Reducing the foe's attack. Sure, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna put these ears on you. And there's nothing... Can I... How do I... There we go. How much is your attack? 17 versus 25. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Have fun with that one. Hmm. Okay, I think you discovered... Hector was missing once it fell from... No, you discovered Hector was missing on the ladder. And you threw Hector somewhere earlier. I'm gonna look between these two areas. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've watered Basil's flowers. Let me go do that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Aubrey gained one heart. Wait a second. Oh! Oh, wait a so. Huh. Wait a sec- okay, wait, 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 wait. If I watered these... Uh, who do these relate to? Have I been slowly losing health this whole time? Oh my god, I may have. Or is this like... It's like a secret buff that you can do. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, does that mean Basil's- wait. Okay, do- oh, do I gain one heart? No. Wait, these are me, right? Why don't- why don't I gain a heart? Okay... Um... Where's that? Oh, you know what? Okay. So, I think Basil said... We gain a- like, this represents me, right? In a sense, like the white tulip uh, reminds me of Amori. I wonder if Mari's similar enough to me as if, like, she's my sister. 
that they're supposed to represent her, right? Who are the sunflowers? Is that supposed to- wait, if I water the sunflowers- wait, are these the ones? How many flowers are there? Five? Amori gain- oh! Wait. A flower. Wait, who's- who's the one at the bottom? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, that's been- it's been so long. Oh, god, okay. What about the sunflowers? Who- who does that relate to? Okay, uh, would you like to water the plants? What happens if all these go out? Do we just die? Is this like a secret? No. Hmm. Amori gained one heart. Oh, is it random? Oh, maybe it's because I'm technically sunny in the real world, like Sunflower. That's weird. Huh. Or it could just be completely random chance and by pure luck has fallen into, like, kind of categorized groups. <laughs> hmm. Do I ever have a picnic here, or do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Do you think Basil is okay? I feel like maybe we should be more worried. Hmm. His disappearance is concerning, but it won't help anyone to get worked up over it. Yeah, he kinda got... Basil's really trusting, he'll believe anything anyone says. What if someone tricked him into something? He got abducted by a shadow demon, or he became a shadow... Oh, did I? Uh, wait, we came up with a name for it. He became the eye. Or maybe he's fallen into a trap. Calm down, Aubrey. I'm sure we'll find them. I know. Why don't you water all his flowers while he's away? I'm sure he'll be super thankful once he sees back. Hmm. Ah, oh, Aubrey, come on. I don't like it when you cry. Cheer up. On the outside... No, Basil may seem really soft, but he's actually pretty strong on the inside. Basil can take care of himself. You should believe in him just a little bit more. Sniff. Well, if... When you put it that way. Okay, I'll try to believe in Basil. Thanks, Kel. Ah, uh, don't smile at me, it's creepy. You're creepy. <laughs> hmm. Hey, this place is looking... Not good. Um... Huh. I don't recall it being this creepy, right? Was it always this creep? No, it definitely wasn't. Like, the cattails in the water. Small plants, they look a little sad. Small plants, they look a little sad. Huh. The floor is sinking. Was it sinking before? Why is it night here? Hmm. Okay, well, this looks somewhat like his house. I th Actually, it does look like his house. I do remember, like, the weird patterned walls. It's a little dusty. Maybe it's like falling apart in his absence, right? I mean, it could just be that simple, but a comfortable looking bed. I do wonder if there's something more to this, right? Like, is this floor sinking into this nothingness below? And why is the night outside if it's like... Also, weird cable that leads on to forever. Similar to our little thing outside. But, or is it supposed to be like represent kind of Basil's state outside, because, you know, he doesn't seem to be doing super hot. <laughs> um, oh yeah, speaking of which, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> he does appear to be having, as far as I can tell, r you know, suicidal thoughts at the moment. Uh, or at least as far as I can figure, because he did mention something about Seeing us only for a few more days, which feels like rather odd, right? At least a little while longer. But he didn't know we're, when we're, we were moving out when he said that. So I, I don't know. I feel like he's kind of falling apart. Also, apparently we kind of just abandoned him. So I do have a suspicion that he might have something to do with Mari's death. And that's why we're so cold towards him. I don't know, I need more information. <laughs> oh god. When I'm in the dream world, I kinda wanna be inside reality, and like, when I'm in reality, I kinda wanna be inside the dream world. I just wanna find more evidence to correlate- Oh, wait, no, I should fight you. Uh, you know, correlate to my theories. Wait. 
Where's the slate? Oh. No, this is somewhere, someplace completely new. Huh. Is this a little platform for Kel to throw stuff on? Yes, it is. Okay, are you trying to get that thing to spin again? Uh, hey, Kel. How did I miss this? Oh, I probably just haven't gone back this area. Uh, did you just keep a whole... Oh, no, the watermelon was inside the fan, I guess. And then... that that That's weird. <laughs> you got spaghetti. Okay, thank you for the spaghetti. Oh, hey, weird creepy sea key. The, the noise it makes when you pick that up is just terrifying. It's just... It's just weird. Eight keys left. And then... There's a hole here. Oh. Wait, wh wh why isn't on the bench? Reach into the... Was that there? I don't... I mean, sure, it's typically not a great idea. You felt someone hold your hand. And it's gone? I'm not like in a coma or anything, right? Huh. What, 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 okay. Oh, do I have to go back? I think I recall seeing those? Okay, may I maybe have to go back to the location of each key. I don't remember where each key was. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there was one, like, on the bridge, I think, and then one in space boyfriend's bedroom. Let me see. Has that given us anything extra? Yeah. C. Ba oh, black. Oh, actually, can I actually take a guess? Black. Huh. Okay, well, I, I think I can make it one word, black, and then... What well, ends with ace? Mace? <laughs> no. It needs to be a schleish. Face. Um... I, am I really this bad at English? Yes, um... The taste. <laughs> I'm looking at my keyboard <gasps> like it's gonna help. Um... The base? No. Latace? <laughs> I have a feeling I can figure this out eventually, but I'm not particularly good at Hangman. Um, hmm. Chase? No. Chance? No. Mance. I give up. I'm not gonna force it. Oh, hey, Mari. I, I, it's really creepy how you're just everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. Who are you? A boy stares at his kite in deep concentration. Do you want to disturb him? Not at the moment, let me save. <laughs> but at the same time, it doesn't really matter, because I'm not going to go back on my choices. Oh, it's another floating hat thing. Propeller Ghost looks around aimlessly as if he's lost. I wonder if- wait, can I reunite those two hats? Uh, it was like the Sunflower Ghost, right? In the fishing area, I recall that quite well. Um... I really like the, like, music in this area. All the music in this game. And I know I keep gushing about it, but it's been just absolutely fantastic. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. <laughs> okay. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Yes. Gah, my ears popped again. Ah, uh, elevation. Yeah, that tends to happen with the elevation. What? Did you say something? It doesn't make you deaf, it just, it's like uncomfortable. I said, your ears popped because of the elevation. Shh, keep it down. It's not just us here. Can't you see that boy of his kite? He looks like he's concentrating really hard. Oops. Sorry, kite kid. So respectful. I'm gonna disturb him. Uh, I am self-centered. Anyhow, what's the food here? Like a... Cornucopia? Ah, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? I know the cornucopia is like the go like fundamentally the horn thing the fruits spill out of, but anytime you see a collection of fruit, I just imagine a cornucopia. Like, you know. <laughs> Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? No. Hey, Mari. Oh, hey, Amori. Fancy seeing you all the way up here. The wind here is stronger than it is on the ground. I wonder why that is. It seems like the perfect weather to fly a kite. Yes, it is. Hello, kite boy. 
Let me save in case you turn out to be a super hard enemy who just absolutely threshes me. That would be incredible. I have a feeling I'm gonna make him lose his kite and then I have to go find it. That's my prediction. Hi. I'm just a boy of his kite. We may not look like much, but we have an unbeatable bond. It's not something just anyone would understand. We'll show you how strong of a bond we are when we work together, <laughs> of course. Your kite is kind of creepy. <laughs> um, okay. Sad poem hack away. Uh, let's hack away. Because we can attack both of you at the same time. Twirl. Aubrey becomes... No, what's the, what's the little counter? All foes target Aubrey for one turn. She attacks. Oh. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, you can tank for a bit. And... Let's... Yeah, 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 rebound. And you shall smile at the kite, because I have a feeling that's probably going to be more of a threat. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> How much health do you have? I have a... Hmm, maybe it could... They could be easy. No. <laughs> oh my god, they are not. Uh, I mean, I guess for a boss fight, Amori slashes... That is cool. Oh, I thought the kite already died. Uh, yeah, can I do that again? No. <laughs> I wish I could. Oh. Okay, well, just stab the kite. Oh, actually, nope, they don't have much health. <laughs> yeah, I, I've severely overestimated a kite. Unless Kite Kid becomes incredibly angry. Well, oh, wait, I want to see another interaction. Yeah, so... I did notice this, and I think I started mentioning this previously, but I interrupted myself with by, you know, nature of my brain. Um, Amori... Of course. Uh, Amori is the only one whose, like, special attacks revolve around himself in its entirety, right? So, I do want to double-check that, I think. <gasps> oh my god, that's a lot of damage! Yeah, pass to Aubrey, pass to Hero. I, I, I need to see... Oh, I'm glad I said... Release energy! Wait, we can't do it because she's dead! I forgot about the mechanics of this. Um... I wanna... I wanna release energy, but I know we have to... I think... Okay. I want to heal... No, because I think Amori is the only one who can release energy. Okay, that also throws my theory down the drain. Because <laughs> that, technically that's a group attack, too. I was going to say Amori seems a little bit more selfish than the others, but I suppose not. Um, let's revive... Oh, I don't know if I have it. Oh, I do. How many of these do I have? I got a bunch of samples, right? Please. What does Soda do? Is that helpful? No. Uh, make this, make this. Apparently better heals. I just want to heal. Um, Oli heals a friend's heart. Wow, okay. That is good. I don't want to waste it on this, though. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, no, no. I'm gonna forget. Let's just heal. Uh, hero, you're gonna smile and then reduce Kite's attack because, dear god... Okay, puffs his chest, uses fries. Oh, Kel's faster than uh, Hero. So therefore, Aubrey doesn't get healed. That is kind of a bummer. Okay. Uh, just attack Kite Kid. Attack Kite Kid. Attack Kite Kid. Attack Kite Kid. Release energy. No. Kel, you're too fast. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I do wonder if this has also changed now that I've gotten closer with my friends. No. Does seem the same. I think? I, I think the ball ba- Oh my god, no, that deals way more damage. No, this cannot be. The wind. It's getting weaker. But me and my kite have a number- Oh god, how could we lose? You have a face. Oh, I thought you had a face too. Amori's party was victorious. You gain a thousand XP. Oh, okay, thanks. That's 
Perfect. Me and my kite should try to fly somewhere else. Did you leave us a kite? As an uwu face, do you want to fly kites with your friends? Yes, oh, I... Oh, that's cute. Oh, and Amori has like a little cat, or a kite of his cat, right? And then Kel is... A man with a funny hat. No, oh, is that like a chef? A bunny, and then Hero's pretty vanilla. Huh. Okay, that's cute. So I guess that's just interactable. You have anything to say anything about me beating up a random kid over there? No. Okay, well, back to looking for Hector. <laughs> this is a nice little detour. I really like the music in this area. It's so just... I don't know. Melancholy. I love it. Huh. Okay, this is definitely new. Big Bone. You got candy. Uh... Oh, hi, Shadow Dog. You kind of look like... Well, I mean, Hector's a dog in the real world. Would you like to pet the dog? This is going to be a fight, isn't it? Oh. No, you pet the dog. Oh. You felt something in your hand. You got... A can? Why a can? Nourishment. I thought I was going to turn into Hector for a second. Shelter. Big bone. Small bone. Big bone. Big bone. Huh. Nourishment and shelter. That's a bit weird and ominous. We also, I did encounter that tire swing area again, and I don't know what that's up with that. I recall as, hmm, maybe these like forest enclaves always have, oh, oh, never mind. Would you like to pet the dog? Yes, I do. You pet the dog. You felt something in your hand. You got cherry. So are you just an infinite source? Of treats and such. What? Are you... We're... I heard you bark. Oh uh, no, your foot... I see your footsteps, I think. Is that it? Are you inside? Shelter. Nur... I heard it bark. What? There's got... No. What? I'm so confused. Big bone? Big bone? Is there like a secret path? <laughs> no, no. I, I, am I gonna have to push it on every tile? What if it's, a, what if I just can't interact with it yet, and I need like ghost sight or something? Ah, uh, we are in a spooky area right now, or where I should be in a spooky area. Huh? We don't know. Mm. Okay, I can't find them. I think I've mashed a on every single tile in here. I think I need something in the future for that. That that feels a bit bad. I want to pet the dog. Okay, well, no free infinite items for me, unfortunately, but, you know, I'm more sad I don't get up at the dog. Anyway, back to rock. Back here. While I'm here, I did think there was a key here, right? Let's see. I recall there being a key. Wasn't it here? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I need to go back to watch my own series. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, I don't like doing that. Listening to my own voice gives me very strange vibes. It does make editing hard. What? Wait, did I not go up here? I recall there being a problem with me trying to go this way. What was the problem with this? Or did I just see this and immediately give up based on the fact that it looks like it's just a big maze? No, there was a key. Wait, oh, I guess I just didn't reach it. How do I get there? Uh, huh. Oh. Is that the main theme in the background? I think that is. Oh, that's a bit ominous. Okay, I have a feeling I don't have the method to interact with this quite yet. Okay, I have to keep in mind, potentially invisible bridge, potentially uh, boat, potentially water walking. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder how dense this game is. It appears super dense from at least initial impressions, but I can't tell. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm the Wise Rock. I give solid advice in exchange for clams. What kind of advice? 
Have you seen Hector? He is also a rock. Understood. Here is your advice. Life is short, so smile while you still have teeth. I hope this helped. Was that- did I pay for good advice? <laughs> uh, yes. Understood. Here is your advice. Life is short, so smile while you still have teeth. Oh. I, I, I guess I've depleted your advice, or you're just threatening me to leave, uh, leave me alone. Tentacle is poking out the ground. God damn you. A hard bull, but you can see something, something struggling inside. I have an idea. Or wait, maybe the cheese thing. A hard bull, but you can hear something struggling inside. I need one of you to hit it. Uh, can you cut it? Hmm. How about... Kel I don't think Kel could do anything to this, right? I want to use your ability. Uh, can you summon the hamster? Please. No. <laughs> oh, no. Train station? Oh. How, how, am I blind? How have I... I definitely do not remember any of this. How much have I missed it from the past? Tater, we'll get up soon. Just give me a bit. A spelling bee. Huh? Oh. How are you this fine evening? Eyes in the weather just... Beautiful. No, 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 let me out, let me out, God, no. I was so careful not to get stuck the second time. You are kind of moonwalking as a bee. Oh, no, I can't interact with you. Hello, Leaf. Leafy, you know what I hate more than anything else? Bunnies. That's right, bunnies. I just hate them so much. If I had all the wish- if I had one wish in all the world, I would destroy all this world's bunnies. Hey, you look like you defeated a few bunnies. Yeah, that's right. I can tell how many bunnies you've defeated just by looking at you. That's how much I hate bunnies. Say, tell you what. Let me make- let's make a deal. If you delete- defeat at least five bunnies, come back and report to me. I'll give you something nice. Now go on, destroy those bunnies. I mean, I think I've done it, right? Hello, fellow bun- Fellow- fellow bunny hater. By looking into your eyes, I can see you've killed 16 bunnies. Splendid. I see you've destroyed more bunnies. That's 16 bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You've got a cotton ball. Now go back and destroy more bunnies. Oh, it's like a recurring quest. By looking into your eyes... You have to kill- Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait. Huh, I need to remember you then. Leaf. That is an alpaca wearing a Yushanka playing a ukulele and wearing a scarf. Gibbs the stationary musician. Hi, kids. I'm Gibbs the stationary musician. I used to be a traveling mu musician, but I left that life a long time ago. Would you be able to. Sp it's the U guitar guy in front of the store. He was also wearing a Yushanka. They go a long way to help since I'm completely stationary. I'll show you something good if you do. Yes, play us a song. Thank you for your donation. Now in return, let me play you the song of my people. It's the same. It's, it's, it's exactly the same. In fact, I think it had like this little, like, uh belly drumming sequence on the body of the guitar too huh would this have would have would this have been here if i didn't interact with the person in real life oh let me oh wait i forgot and i can't move so i, I wonder if that's why it's called stationary musician i wonder so does the more we interact with the real world the more that changes in i suppose the dream world you thought the song was pretty good Okay, huh. You got popcorn. And I see a little bit of a scrungly bungly over here. Mountain. It is a blessing to exist. Okay. That's good to hear. Lemonade. Hello, sir or madame. 
It looks like we have run out of train passes, but we still have some lemonade left. Do you, do you want to buy some lemonade? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a hundred? It's 75 juice, though. Yeah, sure, I'll to buy one. Sweet, that'll be a hundred clams. Thank you for your patronage. Anyway. Uh, can I talk to you behind here? Hello, sir, madam. No. Did you want to buy lemonade? No, thank you. I appreciate your, you know, concern. <laughs> or, hey, you know, sales pitch. Wait, why are you selling? You got sparkler. Why are you selling the lemonade? Wait. Oh, you're a train connect. Oh, it's a train state. Where is the train? Or the tracks. You got plum juice. Also, are you guys ghosts? What are you? Stop right there. You can't pass without a... Whoa. That's a train pass. You must be the last pass. We've been waiting for you a very long time. Oh. Oh, that's where we... Ah, uh, the tickets. Okay, well, it comes for a full circle now. Well, that's all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Yeah, sure. Oh. I don't like this place. <laughs> no cheerful music, even. Uh. Oh, I do like trains, though. Masters of... Do you want to board the train? Not yet. You know, they're perfect logistical... I'm gonna call them creatures. <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Oh yeah, I've also been methodically exploring the tree line in hopes of, like, a secret path. I haven't discovered one yet, though I'm still gonna keep doing it. Do you want to board the train? Yes. I know I didn't explore the right side. <laughs> I thought I was alone again. Hi, stranger, where is home? Here is not home. Home is not here. A case full of crosses. Home is not here. Huh. This is depressing. Here is not home. A bag full of dirt. Please don't do that. Home is not where here is. I think I just saw what their eyes flash red for a sec. I don't like this. Ah. Okay. The eyes, huh? No, the tentacles. I see, oh, on the right side, the single, oh, it's a tentacle. Wait, a case full of crystals? That wasn't what it previously was, was it? A bag full of berries. I want to read the train set. No, this is 100% different. I don't like this. Um, a case full of- oh wait, no, I just moved one train car up. A bag full of- okay, never mind. Full of spider webs. Uh, I hope I- full of bit. No. Oh, we're in a loop. Oh no, we're absolutely in a loop. How do I get off? The train is moving. Uh, let me push the emergency stop button. Oh, we are 100% in a full loop. How oh, okay. Am I supposed to realize this? Uh, nope, okay, so... Another car down, it should be the exact same. There's two- <gasps> I don't know why I got so scared by that. Hi. What are you? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're the weird... Oh, you're like the 3D... Oh, you're like the eye. Are you the eye that's taken a different form? Can I finally fight you? Oh, you 100% are. It's the same question mark thing. Um... Oh. Oh, three of us are afraid except for me. Why? Why? Maybe it's because I encountered it. Or maybe it's because I'm apathetic. Um, can I... Mock deals, no. Deals critical hit. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. I think sad would be better than afraid, right? That doesn't seem good. Twirl! Why I think afraid might... Okay, let me make Aubrey sad. 
That might, like, disallow the use of skills, maybe. And then... Oh, Kel. Even when you're afraid, you don't show much change in emotion. Okay, well, that kind of, like, correlates with my theory something's going on with your home, right? Okay, that's concerning. That's more concerning. Sunny. Uh, I don't think I can use my group skills. Okay, I... Ow! Was that half my health? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I should have... I need to make Hero sad first, because I need Hero to be able to heal me. And then you can just twirl. And then you can just be sad for now. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Sunny. 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 Oh god, do I want to leave this thing alive for as long as possible? Well, how much dialogue does it have? I only dealt 14. Oh, but that's because Aubrey is sad, right? Hmm. I can't use any of my skills. I don't want to kill it immediately now, I know. Um... Let's just make Kel afraid, or Kel sad, I suppose. I- Okay, are you gonna say more aside from my name, or are you just gonna try to freak me out? Uh, it's only attacking- Oh, actually attacked Aubrey. It does have a large, you know, predisposi predisposition to attack me as far as I can tell, though. Why do you dislike me? Um, Yeah, just run and gun. And you... Please cook for her. Yeah, there we go. Kel attacks, blah, blah, blah. And you can attack again, please. Ready's his blade. 56. Sunny. I'm... Sorry. Is this supposed to be Basil? Oh, God, because we... Oh, no. Okay, wait. Okay, because I, th I did think the I thing was Basil. Basil, potentially, because it took its place in, like, his house, right? And he, like, pulls out the shadow thing. And then when he... Oh! Oh, now that I think about it. When I looked in the mirror in Basil's house, I didn't see Basil behind me. I only saw the eye. This has to be Basil, right? I think... Oh, okay, what, Basil, what did you do? Did you cause Mari's death? Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Bzzzt. Because... Okay, well, that's a lot more cheerful, but still depressing. Um, Toast. 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 Okay, my, I think my brain's going funny. I assume the train is still infinite. Let me try running down it for a second. I wonder if there's anything... If we can find the end of it. I don't think we can, and I think this is just permanently looping. But... Yeah, so, as far as I know... Like, Basil... Basil and, like... Sunny, I, should, I suppose I should say, in the real world. They seem to be, you know... I think they're friends, and then we see them in the same cutscene together at the very start, and then when we recently went to sleep and we're together, right? So we know Mari's dead. We know Basil is sorry for something. I think Basil may be like an indirect cause of Mari's death somehow. I just, I just don't know. Okay. Uh, I think that's just an infinite loop. <laughs> What a change in scenery. Isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. You know, now I'm looking at these, like, some of the characters we've seen are kind of less defined, so... In the playground, we get to see, like, characters... Like, they're based off our, I think, toys? Or, like, our... Plushies, or whatever you want to call them. And they seem to have much more... Coherent shapes and stuff like these melty guys that look like they were drawn by my imagination. Baba. <laughs> All right, what about you, Roomba thing? Wizzy Whitney, Wizzy Whitney, Wizzy Whitney. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. 
It's important to know your limits. Oh. Oh, now you're taking a weird... Whoa. Oh, okay. You just went around me. Cow... Cowblin. The weather's even hotter than before. I like the desert. Blookie got... Are those banana trees? But he just needs someone to listen sometimes. And that someone is me. Uh, okay. Everyone here is so different and interesting. I wonder what makes me different and interesting. I mean, you're blue. What, what were you saying about? You get down e easily. And that someone is me. Huh. You look terrifying, guava. I was waiting for the train for so long. I can't even remember why I wanted to come here. You know what's funny about this place? You can't, like, the train- oh wait. Or is this like a one-way stop? I was gonna say the train would have had to pass through this bridge in order to arrive here. And that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's you lads again! Oh, no, I, 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 I don't know. Over. And then you just say, heh heh heh, heh 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 heh. Over. I like you guys. Pamphlets for popular to tourist destinations. Among them is an advertisement for a place called Last Resort. Come down to the Last Resort. Grand opening in Scenic Deepwell. Enjoy this luxury gateway located just a few miles from the city. Bask in the finest amenities the world has to offer at our private retreat, and leave truly transformed. Hmm, that sounds like a threat. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Your name is Square. I spy with my little eye a rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. Fair enough. Uh, I like your design, you're kind of little... I've never been to this stop before. I can't wait to explore the orange oasis land of possibilities. Yeah, what's up with the, like, palm trees that have, like, a banana stem? Orange Oasis. Oh. And the houses are large through... Hi, buddy. You seem to be rather large for the building you inhabit. And a cow sphinx. Actually, wait, no, the sphinx is the name of an individual... Wait, is this place made out of sugar? Oh, it's a giant cake, okay. That makes... The trees make a little more sense, I suppose. Huh, cool sign. Um, I could really... Oh, wait, now there's bones? Uh, can I leave? No. <laughs> Why am I immediately... There's something behind the waterfall? No, there has to be somewhere. What? Why is there... What? what what's even running down? <laughs> uh, hello? Mamia. Wow, it's a big apple. Sure is. Uh... And of course, I get the hiccups. Give me a second while I pour myself some tea and remove myself of this curse. Huh. Hydration check for you. Also, check your posture. I just realized I was like slouched over at a 90 degree angle. Oh, it's a deli. I think that says deli. No. Uh, Gallipot's Gastropod. Today's specials, orange juice, peach soda, and milk. Oh, are you a Gallistrop? I'm Tofu Connoisseur. I love all kinds of tofu. Each piece of tofu is unique and deserves to be enjoyed individually. If you trade me 10 tofu, I'll give you a snack that I've gathered for many tofu-related journeys. Would you like to trade me 10 tofu for one snack? Do I have the offer of a lifetime for you? They may be soggy and wet from being in an ocean, but they still are tofu. You gave 10 tofu to, to the Tofu Connoisseur. Wonderful, take this not as delicious food in exchange. You got a whole chicken, just a whole chicken. Please enjoy it as much as I will enjoy these 10 very unique pieces of tofu. I'm the tofu concierge, I love all kinds of tofu. Do I have more? I think I had 15, right? Hey, you don't have 10 tofu, that's fine. Hello, young travelers, Gallipot. Please try some of my refreshments. So like you're a camel and then you're like storing the things in your humps, that's cute. I made it all myself. Isn't that like... I think that's technically not true. Small candies, not for sale. Like, I think that's just fat, right? Technically, you store water in most parts of your body, at least in terms of human biology. I thought that was like a fake myth. Then again, this is the mind of a child, so it doesn't have to be necessarily real. Hey, cowboy. You appear to be schmoovin' left and right. And hello, stilty boy. I'm stuck and cannot get down. 
<laughs> how do actually I've never how do you get down from st how do you even get on stilts? What? Okay, now I gotta watch a video on this afterwards because I'm suddenly questioning the state logistics of stilt based existence. Okay. I wonder if you two don't immediately also wow, you're cute. Uh kill me and I was supposed to come here right away. Uh let's find out. Cause if that's the case, I'm definitely not supposed to be in the forest place. That seems to be a good amount of damage, right? He does a flip so ta- I was 100% supposed to be here, wasn't I? <laughs> oh god. Oh no. You gained 550 EXP. You got 60 clams. You found Pancake. I learned Team Spirit. And you learn- Oh wow, you're all level 11 all of a sudden. Okay. 100% I should have been here earlier before the spooky forest. That explains why I was getting absolutely decimated. You got Mango Smoothie. Um, can I just like- I wanna- well, Okay, well, you seem to be smart enough. Let me fight you. <laughs> Milkshake Bunny, you seem to be suffering ju just by carrying this thing, but I guess that's just because you're sad. Holy shit, Aubrey. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't- that is a lot of damage. Well done. Uh, I didn't even know you can do a hundred- more than a hundred. Damn, okay. Is that an enemy or is that just a floaty schmeck? Oh, it's another floating hat, isn't it? No, it's a ghost beard. What? Is there like a weird- Is this just to mess with me? Is this just to like, have fun with like, little beard things? I don't understand. <laughs> uh... There has to be like some weird quest line involving all these hat ghosts and I'm gonna have to remember all- I should start jotting these down. Orange. This place is bad for my cavities. But who needs teeth anyway? Okay, what about you? Willy. Orange Oasis is mostly full of senior folk who've been around since who knows how long. <gasps> it's a joke! But I have my hopes. One day this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. So no- It's you. Wait. Oh, what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. Okay, so I'm gonna have to collect multiple jokes, I'm guessing. Um, did you slam your face into the place near that one sprout surrounded by like 50 cones? These hollow spaces I mark in them. I've hidden my most precious belongings. Yes, I smash my face to remember, but lightly. Any harder, it would break. Smash any harder, and it would... Okay. Thank you for the very obvious hint. Oh? No? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have to return to there eventually. Uh, sorry for stealing your stuff. You got jam packets. Ooh, that sounds... Like something. Probably life jam, right? My most precious belongings. I'm sorry. Uh, well, thank you for marking your face in an easily identifiable way. Uh, I'm not gonna fight you for a moment. Also, that is... Is that Stonehenge? I can't remember what Stonehenge is and what the other face was. I know there's a multitude of... kind of giant stone faces in the world. People sure like making them. This is... What's the password? Yes! No password, no entry. It's the same. We saw that same door uh, at the disco place, right? The moonwalk place. Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. You get a hundred. Oh. O okay. Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. Well, uh, let me let me keep talking to you. <laughs> we cactus. Uh, you didn't have to pay me. I was, I'm just more interested in your thoughts. But now that you've paid me. I'm an excellent conversational partner. Well, you could just, you know, talk more about your life. You don't have to, you know, just pay me. Uh, you got whatever that was, brother bud juice, I guess. <laughs> uh, anything else here? A giant rolling pin and a thing with a quest. Can I roll it? No. Uh, what's up? With Hello, larva. A croissant. Oh, no, a, a cross on. A cross ant is upside down and struggling to flip over. Flip them. Yeah. You flip the cross ant over. Thanks. Okay, goodbye. That was a quick quest, I think. Uh... 
Was that was that it? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's nice just to be nice. Sure. <laughs> okay. What does this do? You know, when I was a kid, I with the abundance of quicksand-related media I consumed. I thought it would be a much larger problem in life than it actually was. I've never once encountered quicksand, and that kind of leaves me sorely disappointed. <laughs> uh, I know that sounds odd, but like... I want to encounter quicksand. I mean, I'll probably die the second I do because I'm stupid and like to <laughs> put myself in danger for no reason, but... I don't know, it just seems cool. Uh, I'll, I'll follow the arrows, why not? <laughs> actually, wait, no I won't. Let me go the opposite way for now and see if there's anything there. Oh, it's a puzzle. You should have listened. Oh no. Uh... <gasps> hey, that's creepy. Do I wanna... Nope, I guess we're fighting you. Okay, maybe listen to them. Uh, hack away. Uh, twirl. And rebound. And you can just attack. Also, I discovered a very useful attack with... Oh my god, wow. Uh... Or I suppose special with Aubrey. If I... Look at Kel, it makes... Oh, never mind, I guess I don't get the chance to. Uh... Oh, I guess... You can't use the big moves if you use a skill, huh? I was gonna say, if you use the look at Kel thing... Oh, good goodbye, I guess. Um... How much health do these things have? I should have listened. Uh, it makes them angry. <laughs> Both of them, which is useful. And... You can probably heal. Come on. Uh, yeah, go attack again. I don't want to waste my life jam in this fight if I don't have to. I feel like I've been blowing through it quite a bit. What happens if you look at Amori? She looks at Amori. He still doesn't notice. It hits right in the heart. It deals 136. Okay, that's just big damage. I like that one. And... His head falls off, and I guess that's just an idle turn. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, God. oh wait, who gained the skill? I forgot to look at it, too. It's 51. Y you missed? I, I don't think I've seen any one of us miss ever. That's new. And this one seems particularly weak for some reason. Goodbye. Okay. Do I want to listen to the signs from now on? Or... Do I do what I want? I found bread. Huh. Because I... Oh no, this is gonna be... I should have listened. <laughs> okay, how do I do... Yeah, no! I'm running. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I'm a pacifist by nature. Uh... You know, as I say that, as I've murdered 16 bunnies or however... Hmm. Okay, well... I wonder if it's actually possible to get through this game without killing it. No. No, because when we encountered Captain Space Boyfriend, we couldn't run, so we had to beat him. Unless there's like a secret exception. Huh, maybe I should have tried that. Well, I mean, I suppose it's too late now. What's up with like the sand pits? Oh, this is reminding me of a very... You are very insistent on me going this way. I will listen this time, but I am so... <laughs> ah... Curiosity. 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 <laughs> Curiosity. No, you can't convince. You are so... You can't... Oh, wait, is this a teddy bear? No. You should have listened. God. It's... It's just telling the truth. <laughs> Nerd. Nope, nope. Okay, well... Goodbye. Why is why are all like the bread goes sad? I, I should probably kill one just to see what is going on with that, but I have a feeling. Uh run. Okay, I mean at least escaping seems consistent. This is probably a great place to farm for experience, but I mean no like commit in general. Please leave me alone. Can I walk through you? I don't think I can. Okay. Just listen to the sign. Just Ooh, what's this? No? I swear to god, that's gotta lead somewhere good for once. Alright. 
No, no, that's unfair this time. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I thought that. Oh my god, I've been japed with the short arrow now. Uh, well played, game, well played. Oh, you did it. You sure did it. Good job for you. Uh, can I pick this up? No? <laughs> what was the point of that? Do I just leave from the same place I entered? No, I don't. Oh, wait, wait, that's the same ladder we see in the... That's the same ladder we saw on the pier. Oh, we have to take a... Keep an eye out for that, then. A stuffed toy. And it's the same puzzle, a very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. And... Some more houses. Uh, hello, you live in a donut. Oh, and you are a donut. That is... Are you... The flesh? My granddaughter rarely visit, but she sends me a postcard every now and then. She seems to be doing well. Okay, wonderful. Toast. Of toast. Um, a bookcase. There's a photo hanging from one of the books. Oh. <laughs> it's a sweetheart, except she has a massive hole in her chest. That's weird. And it's signed. Oh. Oh, does she make donuts? I mean, I guess that makes sense. You slip the photo back in the book. And... Oh, go! Okay, are you- uh, Oh! You're a donut hole. That... Are you also eating a giant donut cake? This feels like cannibalism, a big donut. Huh? What was that, young sonny? Did you say something? I can barely see nowadays, but I can still make out some shapes. I can tell you are strange-looking donuts. I mean, there certainly are strange-looking donuts. Big bread. Oh, I thought that was going to be a donut baguette. Unfortunately, it's not. Okay, what's in here? Uh, a big family. Mina, hello and welcome. Please make yourselves a home. What'd you just eat? What? Hello and welcome. Please make yourselves a home. <laughs> okay. There's just a never dull moment in this house. Isn't that right, Victor? Wow. There's a lot of kids in this place. Z. Just one more pepperoni, please. Bounce, bounce, bounce. My siblings and I dug up a huge tunnel that has a secret entrance no one knows about. Was it... Was it the one with signs? I want to go find treasures that dinos dig later. But I better make sure it's okay with mom first. Uh, can I talk to your youngest one? Mom says if we misbehave, we'll be sent to the shadowy chasm. <laughs> but whatever. I ain't scared of no monsters and chasm. I need a... I always read that wrong. Um, okay, sure. Let me steal this watermelon thing. You got a donut. I, is that not... You don't have any moral quandaries with that? Also, that is a big hieroglyphic stuff. I of raw. Bunnies in a bowl. Two people cooking. And what appears to be the Sphinx. Actually, wait. Let me go take... A Your chin wasn't like that. I, 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 your chin 100% was not that long. Is it gonna grow more? If I go in here, does it grow more? Oh god, I'm tempted to go through that again. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take a look at it later. And what is this? Not, nothing much. Uh, hi. Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis under their watchful eye. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead. Among other things, I don't know if there's much truth about this legend, but wouldn't be that inter wouldn't that be interesting? Serrano. Okay, well, I mean, thanks. Uh, can I steal some of the bread? Uh, it's a lot of bread, and this is like a Russian cake roll thing where you just bake a shit of cake and then spread some things and then roll it up. I love those things. And a floating mirror. My friends are still smiling. I'm more concerned about when they stop smiling. A golden treasure map? Hello? Uh... Are you guys frozen? Oh, hey, Mori. How did I miss you? Hey, Mori, guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. Yeah, it's like... Cake batter, right? It's brown sugar. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. Now, isn't that sweet? Haha. <laughs> it sure is hot out here, though. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. Oh, fantastic. Ooh, and luxurious candy apples. Would you like to eat some? Those things are records of teeth. <laughs> you and your friends feel like new. 
Uh, okay, let's have a little picnic. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Why are, like, people encased in the ice behind us? The brown sugar feels good in my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. Don't do that. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you even think of that? You're so weird. We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Kel just doesn't think before he says them out loud. Hey, I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. That's just wrong, Kel. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at all times. Yeesh. Loosen up, you two. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. I expect a better from you. God. Aw, oh, man. what I say now? Okay, well, they're, they're a bit harsh in Hero, but... You know, it, it is a bit of a cop-out answer, I suppose. Uh, let me save real quick. And I really should be saving in different files, but I do not care. We'll find out if it screws me. Oh, hi. Bean juice? The water is so clear. It's like I can see a whole nother world on the other side. Oh. Okay. Why are you, are you like a coalition of beans? You got orange juice. Can I drink the soda? No. Okay, well that giant straw is uninteractable. I will leave you milkshake, bunny. What's up with the rootin' tootin' cowboys? And it's you again. I don't think I've actually shopped at your place for quite a while. Yes, yes, hello. Um... Oh, you sell different things. Let me... Inflex anger of all fr- Oh, that's actually sick. I already own one, though. Okay, well, let me buy a life gem, because... I think it's probably good. Wait, can I go buy life gem from life gem guy? Would there be a discount from it? I don't think I interacted with him again. Holy cow. Oh. And hello, Pluto. How do I make sure you know? A station for Pluto Space Line. Do you want to wait here? No, I wanted to check out the map on the back, but that's fine for now. It's this thing again. A tentacle is poking out the ground. I got... This is everywhere. I, it's also in the drawings, and it's like illustrated differently. It's white. I gotta figure out what that means. There's gotta be some meaning to that, right? Um, Ricoli Ravioli. Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. I, Ricoli Ravioli, a food hob hobbyist. Wait, what? Welcome to Orange Oasis. I'm... Oh. I, I thought you said I. We're about to do something. You're cute. Hello, Sydney. A hamster with a fanny pack is essentially a small kangaroo. <laughs> I suppose it is. Dino's dig. Okay. Is this the chick of the thing outside? Yellow. Aw, oh, nuts. I'm one dino dollar away from a silver spoon. It was a silver spoon. You wanna buy a wooden spoon? 15 digs for 6 dino bucks. Uh... You wanna buy a silver spoon for 20 bucks? You wanna buy a plastic spoon for three dollars? Okay, what... What are spoons? Oh yeah, you have a quest, right? Oh. I guess I have to interact with your head outside. Are you Dino? Which one of you is Dino? Oh. I'm not a smart man. <laughs> the food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things. Ancient artifacts. Old relics lost in time. The possibilities are endless. What? Oh, there's a pterodactyl on your back. Right? Chad. <laughs> okay. Strange artifacts from different lands. The eye stock, uh, TV, a ship's- a frog! Hello, frog. The treasures on display here are from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday. Uh, that lost sprout is very dead. Oh, so that plant is alive? What? Uh, hello, bird pirate. Grunty, the last time I tried Dino's Dig, I found lots of amazing treasure. But this time I tried Dino's Dig, I just found some granola bars. Oh, okay, mini game. Is it grindy? <laughs> I am down for a grind at the moment. Um, I want to go interact with the big dinosaur at the top. How do I... How do I go up to him? I, he had a quest, right? Uh, is this new? I think this is a new area. I can't tell. Hi. How how talk? How how talk? Can I, I can I not climb up the side? How do I retract you? Oh, wow! This is a very particular angle. Scott, howdy, who youngins? Y'all mind doing me a favor? 
I need to scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Uh, it's just absolutely killing me. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> a bit of a weird request, but you know what? Whatever. I mean, I was, why? how did you get in there? I guess it doesn't need to make logical sense. <laughs> I can't run in here. Oh, I'm becoming more and more reliant. Let me scratch you. You scratch Scott's bottom. Ah, uh, much better. Okay. Uh, is that all? I like the quest here. I mean, I like just flip an ant, scratch a butt, and then you're done. Oh no! I want to talk to Dino, please, or Scott. Please leave me alone. At least for now, I'll kill you later. Oh, wait, treasure map. One second, how, how steal? You got a treasure map. Yoink. <laughs> Is that a scale? I think that's a scale. And a cup of tea. And... Hi. Let me... Hey, you must be the kids who scratched my itch. What a huge relief. Here, take this. Well, we actually have too many of these things. I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. You got a hard hat. And I'm guessing that's equipment. I can't really thank you enough. Okay. Uh, I think... Oh, that's probably defensive equipment, right? Backpack defense, too? Let's see. Hard hat? Yeah. Depth 6? I'll take that. We need to keep Hero alive more than anything else. He keeps the rest of the party alive. And if he's one shot... Okay. You are very much regular chinned over here. If I leave the area for just a bit... I thought I can open that box and come back... No. Why is that one chin longer? A shiny telescope. Do you want to check out the view? Yeah. Uh, it's a pyramid. Are we looking backwards somehow from a different distance? That's a bit confusing. Hmm. Okay, and if... I wonder if there's any... Oh, wait, can I go up? No. I wonder if there's anything special you can find with this, or if it's just like a nice little... Oh, hey, it's a wee cactus and a cat, a cactus. Oh, that's cute, I guess. And then... A ghost cactus thing. Alright, well, I mean, that's nice. I'll leave that alone for now. And let me head to Dino's Digs. Okay. <laughs> I may have spent an hour and a half fishing, but if this actually has an incentive to go for a very long time, I'm down just to do the same thing over and over and over again. Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. Ahem. Are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come right to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can explore for the low price of 100 clams. Are you ready to enjoy the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? Yeah, sure. Dino-tastic, that's not a word. <laughs> Okay, this is a Chuck E. Cheese, isn't it? Alright, kiddos, first thing first. Here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. You got a potato spoon. Oh, I see. Choose which spoon you would like to use. We have five? Does that mean we have five uses? I don't understand. There you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? In our special dig site, the Food Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. The best part is you get to keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels, so you'll always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks a pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. Here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, the potato spoon will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends and the pyramid gate closes, and we'll call you back to entrance. You understand everything I said so far? It's a roguelike. I get it. Dino-tastic. And now it's time for a dino disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you find in the, in the food pyramid. Oh, during your round, you might find some troublesome critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to you or your property during your adventure. You dig? If a critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to do is go up these stairs and smell the sweet food pyramid air and start digging. Here, have a dino-tastic adventure. You sure are a worthy dino. Um... I can just avoid everything, right? How do I... How do I interact with things? 
You got a pyramid. <laughs> Where's the next floor, chumps? I'm gonna get this in one try. See ya, nerd. <laughs> uh, all right. Next. Oh wait. No. Oh, I hope I can go. I can go back. Um. Eh. Where am I? Who are you? Well, goodbye. Uh, lots of like little schmecks I don't really want to interact with. Oh, how many uses? You. Mango smoothie. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that has to be like a one and two, right? It can't be that low. Cucumber's like, okay, this is like a cucumber area. Next one. And... I want to fight the oddly realistic bunny and the oddly realistic chicken. Oh, you're running away from me. That's kind of terrifying. Combo meal. I I'm down to my last dig, aren't I? Uh, let me fight you. <laughs> it's just a PNG. Um, okay, sure. It 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 it's called rabbit with a question mark, huh? Okay. Uh, let's attack normally so I can do the thing with Kel, and then rebound, and attack. Hopping around, hopping around. It's dead. It, it, it not a Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess I can't fight you. Do you guys just do nothing? Okay, I guess I just have to run. Uh, see you guys. What about the chicken? I have a feeling it's the same, right? Uh, let me go talk to the ch- I guess not talk to. I have one spoon use left, right? Uh, you. I don't want to fight you, there's no point of fighting you. Oh god, okay. Ow! Um... You guys are strong. Give me a key, give me a key and let me leave. Give me a key and let me leave. No. And another spoon bites the dust, let me out then. <laughs> Big spoon down, that's game over. How do I get, like, dino bucks? Did you find a lot of cool treasures? I hope you enjoyed your dino-tastic adventure. How do I get dino bucks? Welcome to the dino shop. According to my log, is it, okay, how do I get dino dollars? Uh, oh, it's probably in there. Okay, well. Let me- I'm gonna repeat this until I get the ultimate spoon. I'll be back, I guess, after I use all my money. I should probably save. Do you remember the rules? Yeah. I figured you already got this down. Okay. Let's send it. I- Oh my god, of course, you found Hector. Oh. Hector. Could it be? It's really you. Come on, Hector, back into my pockets you go. It'll be just like old times. How did I start this entire thing looking for Hector, leaving the forest just to end up finding Hector in the middle? Sure, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, uh, you can talk? Kel, my old friend. I am so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are, are you saying you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I, I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join them, Hector Jr., into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. It's purple. Yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope next time we meet, you'll have a flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, alright? I won't. I, I promise. Huh. How did you end up here? We'll always be proud of you, son, Heather. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family, we're always here for you. I hope next time you'll meet, you'll flourish into a wonderful polished rock. Well, your dreams, brother. Uh, let me take- wait, no, don't fight me, bread. Or, uh... 
hell? Let me see... Let me try to equip you. Oh, it, it's in the pocket, you said. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a one-use item. That would be a bit depressing, right? Toys? Important. Is it important? Uh-uh, wait, 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 wait. No? Okay, it has to be, like, just an item, then. Um... It wouldn't be a new weapon. No? <laughs> I guess that's a bit messed up. Can talk, but is very shy. Stats increase with more energy. What's energy? Oh, we have juice, right? How much the- ooh, 23, 17, and then 10. So you, like, permanently scale- okay, I guess that's really good, but, like, the cat thing is quite good. Okay, I'm gonna leave that on for now, but... I haven't even used run and gun, I'll be honest. Um... Let me just continue. I don't want to fight anything, because apparently... I might be under level again? Uh, I, I don't know. Ah, uh, and that's how we find Dino Dollars, of course. Find a Dino Dollar. A Dino Dollar. I, I think that's perfect. I think that's exactly how many we need for... What's it called? Nope. Oh. Okay, Bunger. Goodbye. Let me... Eat. Come on. An ancient code. What's an ancient code? And s another spoon bites the dust. Big spoon down. That's game over. Uh... Yep, yep, I found a lot of cool treasure. What was an ancient code? Is that... A mysterious code, what could it mean? It is actually... 2335? 2335... 1234... What... what does that mean? Is this password? <gasps> is this the password to the thing? Ooh... Let me go talk to that one person. Uh, I think I have enough money to buy a spoon, right? Four dino dollars? Let's see. You wanna buy a plastic spoon for three dino bucks? Yes. In we go. Oh wait, before I do... I'm gonna save because if I die... Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be quite rough losing all our progress, right? Okay, we have a big spoon, but unfortunately, these appear to be one-time uses. Uh, hopefully we can sustain ourselves now that we have it, but we are running out of money. I am tempted to sell everything we got. Ugh, man, if only I didn't buy 50,000 soda for like a hundred each. Uh, yeah, just, just give me the silver spoon. Okay, uh, yeah, if only I didn't buy 15 sodas from a vending machine in the ocean. Oh my... Okay. So here's a quick problem. Um... I can't escape. I'm stuck here. Because I just ran away... I have a cilantro block in me. I ran away from the fight successfully. But... Unfortunately, that resulted in me not being able to pass through it. So, my one option is to defeat this thing. However, every one of my party members has one health. <laughs> um, how much- we, we've gotten a bunch of food, but I wanted to try selling it to go back in here, because I seem to be getting rather unlucky. What is a uh, dino chicken or whatever? Oh. Okay, well, let me use... It doesn't matter how much health they have, because they'll die in one hit, right? Yeah, now that I think about it, as long as I have jam- like, life jam's more important- I just have to hope the cilantro has one health. Or just has one- it's alone, I meant to say, it's not. Uh, let me try to escape this fight to the point where it's alone, because it seems to be different every time. Don't feed it. Okay. Yeah, I can't go right here, right? Nope, nope, okay, well, I guess we're fighting it. It's alone, it's happy. Okay. Hack away, we have to deal as much damage as possible in, like, five seconds. Um... You don't have... Ah, uh, that would be helpful, except for, you know... 
Okay, hero. Wait, no, you, you contemplate life a bit first, right? Yes. We might have a chance. Please. <laughs> Maybe I should make it angry. Because if it's angry, it takes more damage, right? How much health does it have? I might just have too much health for me to beat. That's a problem. Help. Uh, I don't know what this does. Wait, no, that heals? I forgot. Ah. Hmm. Be, be sad. Oh, I wish I could headbutt you. And you can't headbutt because you have no health. Huh. I think I'm dead. I think I'm properly dead. Uh, hero... No, don't attack nor- I- oh. No, I don't even have any friend juice. I was gonna say... Oh my god, I think I'm just properly dead. I don't have any options. Um... Yeah, just- just- just keep attacking. I think that's our only bet. I just have to hope I kill it in time. Uh, I do hope this gives us like 5 million experience, because it does seem to be... 20 times stronger than us. A single piece of cilantro. Please contemplate what life one more time. That's all I ask of you. Oh, you... It did not... Okay. I have an idea. Remember all that soda I bought that I thought was particularly useless at the moment? No, it's... Oh. Wait, no. Hell attacks first, right? Oh, I can't heal! I was gonna say I want to heal up some of my juice, but I can't because I can't use the skill. Okay, it's just... Amori, you got this? I don't think that was not enough damage. Um, you can tank one hit, right, Amori? Please, it's just a piece of cilantro. <laughs> it's not that big of... Attack again. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> What? He gained... He gained 3,600 XP? I am not supposed to be here. I want to make it to the end. What happens if I make it to the end of this place? Oh my god. Maybe I should farm for XP here? Did you find a lot of cool treasure? I hope you... I want to see something. How much does the food sell for here? Because I want to see if this is kind of a self-sustaining cycle and I can live here indefinitely. I think you can sell food, right? Sell. Hello. Please buy some- oh, I don't want to buy- it. No, I- I'll- Yeah, you know. Okay, you don't appreciate Windows shoppers. Do you appreciate people go come to your store asking to sell stuff? I 100% can sustain myself here. The snow cone's worth 2,500? What? Damn, okay. I mean, that's a lot of money. But you know what? No, let me be rational about this. Do I, like, where's the dino stuff? Oh. Gold wall? I want to keep this. Feels like a quest item, right? I'm going to keep this. That feels like something important. Um, I had a whole bunch of dino stuff. I wonder if I can only use that inside of the place. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know what this does, but I'm not going to look at it because I want more runs. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna bite me in the ass. Attacks first. Acts first. An attack that's stronger when Amori's happy. Oh, that's actually quite good. Wait. What? I, what something makes Amori happy. Oh, God. I think it was an interaction with Kel. If Kel looks at Amori during his attack, he becomes happy. I think this is pretty solid. Um... Mox seems good, though. I never don't have, like, an opportunity to use it. I kind of want to get rid of Sad Poem, but that seems useful, too. Uh, let's just get rid of Stab. Lucky Slice seems kind of just directly better, right? Oh, no. Oh, I think we're dead. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, do you want to try? What happens if I say no? I think it just takes me to the title screen, right? I kind of want to say no and see what find out what happens if it's anything special. 
No, it is just title screen. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be in this area yet. <laughs> There's no point to healing because everything one-shots me and I literally have no- Actually, I did manage to survive one hit once. Uh, not particularly strong. Also, how many levels are there? Was it five? Because I think I've only gotten to three. And... I don't know if I can- I think I have to be higher level to, uh, return here and properly make it through. Because... My gut instinct is telling me there is a boss at the top of this. <laughs> there's no way there's not like a absolute monarch of a boss fight after all of this. Do we get a fight dino? Uh, like I'm definitely not ready for it, but I want to see if that's true. I just want to reach the top floor. Okay, I have prepared a little bit of a big brain play, hopefully. <laughs> I purposely broke my key when I got a pyramid key on a higher floor so I can skip the first floor, and I saved enough money to use up a silver spoon for this run. I want to see if I can get past the third floor and see what's there. Um, I, I don't remember how many floors there were. They said there were. It's either... F wait, no, I, I just wasted a use. I'm down to 19. But I could have just done this, and I don't think you get keys if you have a key. Maybe. Unless you can stack them up, which would be really easy. That's garbage. That's two uses, three uses, four uses. I don't know, the clump. Oh, wait, clump's the ones that heal. Uh, I have to be really careful with the enemies since they are just... That single piece of celery over there is exponentially stronger than my whole group. <laughs> a banana smoothie. Uh, I forgot- I forgot to count. It doesn't matter, I suppose. Please. No. Okay, run. Grab this one. There, uh, there's gotta be a pyramid key somewhere. Oh, no. Do I- wait, do I have, like, an extra one or something? No. Eh. I wonder if there's a way to tell. Probably not. Uh, please let me escape. Thank you. That was very kind of you. I don't know, can I make, like, Kel the leader of the group, and since he's super fast, it'll be easier to get away or something? Ah, oh, I got kind of unlucky there. Um, alright. Hopefully, I can get lucky on this floor. If not, well, whatever. You got Dino Clump. You got a whole chicken. Please. <laughs> you got a hot dog. Just one. Just one more. Oh! Oh, okay, the X button. All right. Is there a hole in the floor? No. You got a whole chicken. I guess that's actually worth. Oh, I should probably read the description. Um. Ah, get japed. Pyramid key. <gasps> yes. And I have the. Please, please let this be the final floor. What's up here? It's just chicken. I don't want to fight the chicken. You got a dino smoothie. What's the center one? You got a dino smoothie. Uh, no, I should have fought the chicken. I should have fought the chicken. No, no, no. What, what, oh, God. It's game over. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Did you find a lot of cool treasure? I hope you enjoyed your dino tastic adventure. I think that chicken would have thrashed me. Okay, I'm going to assume that chicken's a boss fight. And I'm gonna return here when I'm much stronger later. We saved up a ton of food. Uh, all of it seems to be excessively good for what we are. <laughs> I have a feeling my avoidance of combat is, you know, kind of biting me in the ass. But I don't particularly mind it. <laughs> uh, we seem to have like an okay level for the surrounding area. But maybe that one place is just too tough for us. Anyhow, uh, have a fantastic night, everyone. Stay hydrated, check your posture. I don't know why I'm doing a long outro. <laughs> Let me save before I forget. Anyway, good night, goodbye.